Be careful. There he is, my favorite scrapper. You know any others? I do not. But together, we've taken on a few bucket heads. Don't forget the KX droids. How are we still alive? Let's catch up later. Watch yourself out there. They will be expecting us. Cal and I made it through the Luker Hulk, all right? You and I have different definitions of all right. I wonder why Dagon sent Ravis instead of coming here himself. Get up here. Vulture droids. Looks like Ravis has more separatist droids than we thought. Doesn't look like they spotted us yet. Think you can land? I don't know. The risky part's gonna be taken off again, and the last thing I want is to be stuck on this haunted rock. You could always build a second cantina. Franchise. Hey, how about you save the jokes for later, Jetpack? I can hide the mantis. Last I checked, this ship isn't equipped with a cloaking device. What is she doing? Here we go. The vultures are right in front of us. Trust her. <laughs> Okay, that was impressive. We will drop you off. Good luck with Ravis. And to you. Hey, kid. Hurry back. Jetpack, man the guns. Copy that. Oh, and I might need some of your blood. In case I get tired. <laughs> If you find anything weird or creepy down there, I don't want to hear about it. You understand me? Not a word. Watch yourself out there. Be careful. active. Probably not good. Something over there. Raiders are locking this place down.
fight with me. Better watch. Let's fight together. together. Let's hope we don't need it.
secure this. Don't open it. This is Quadrant's play. Let me out.
try. Stop them! Just come quietly. Stop them! again. Hey, Cal. You there? I'm here. You all okay? Uh, we're managing. No rush, but uh, hurry up and let us know when you're on your way back. Will do. Enough. We're not 
Not done yet. for you to make Dagon's vision real once more. Persistence reveals the path. What's up, BD? Jedi, you are nearly too late. I await you in the control tower. Reach me if you can. What's that? Jedi before, son? No. But what does it matter? <laughs> you never seen a lightsaber up close. If you had, maybe you wouldn't be in such a rush to see one again. I am not afraid. Let me at him. Your funeral, son. Your funeral. Protect me. Going in. to protect me. I'm not the enemy. Stand up to me. Oh, a Jedi. Together. Oh, it's 
Worth checking out, right? It's locked. Containment breach! Get down! so far has been successful. Dagon Gera has belief. And he senses something I do not.
That gadget we found in the stone spires. Think you can help here? You got this one, right, Petey? See what Cree was up to. Centauri. Dagon, what have you done? What I must. Stop. But you want what I want. Why else would you deceive the Council? You've lost your way. Surrender. And we can figure this out, together. Come with me. It's too late for that. Such despair, Santari. Tanalor. You can feel it slipping away. My despair is for you. Tanalor has changed you. It's changed you as well. Step aside. No. Then I must go it alone. Centauri. <laughs> What'd you find? High Republic tech. Works with my grapple. Could help us climb the tower. She defeated Dagon, but didn't turn him in. Why?
get this data disk back to Z. Jedi. Why did you activate the array? It's been many years since I last took the life of a Jedi. Why did you activate the... I heard you. Long ago, Dagon bested me in combat. Earned my loyalty. We fought side by side until the Jedi betrayed him. Many of your order to defeat me. And yet, they dishonored me. Denied me a warrior's death. And left me to rot in a cage for centuries. So, seems our destinies are intertwined. The demise of your order. Without me to escape. And yet... Nothing has changed. You're still just Dagon's servant. Time does not diminish my loyalties. Without a code, you can only serve yourself. Where's the compass, Ravis? Nothing! Jedi! If you want that knowledge from me, you're gonna have to fight for it. Very well. You're fast. Oh! <sighs> 
together. <laughs> I will not, Jedi. After all these centuries, I still dream of Tantalor. <clears throat> I had hoped to see it again, but... Oh, that is not to me. Jesus. Dag and Gera stands in your way. You don't have to do this. Only one of you will reach Tantalor. Jedi, give me my warrior's death. Jedi code. Now look at him. Consumed by his obsession with Tantalor. How is that different from what we're doing? <sighs> Don't worry about it. Thanks for having my back. The 
best way up is through the array. Blaster, better run a little faster. Go by a lone saloon. The location shattered moon. Uh. Hey, look at that. He ain't dead. How you doing, kid? How? Whatever you did up there should kick the firebug nest. Hey, this is God. Yeah, that'll do it. So let me guess. Back to Kobo? Yeah, I think so. Say, uh, jetpack. Give me a hand up here. Yeah. Don't tell Grease, but he's right about this moon. Creepy. Not now. I need some time to think. Can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. What a waste. You eating okay, keeping up your strength? Do I look like I'm wasting away? Well, no, I mean, you look fine. Listen, just let me fuss, would you? I appreciate you, Grease, but I'm fine. Might not be able to cook like you, but we were able to find food. Yeah, yeah, I saw what Seer ate. I don't trust a Jedi's definition of food. What do you think about a good stew for supper? Everyone likes stew. Let's pick our destination. You're brooding. Again. That easy to read my mind? It's no Jedi trick. I just pay attention. <laughs> On the Shattered Moon, I saw Dak and confront Centauri. He was so consumed by Tantalor that it completely lost his way. these last few years. I should say I don't want to end up like him. You are very stubborn, but ambition does not drive you. why she didn't see the change in him before it was too late. They dreamed together. And suffered together. A shared dream is not so easy to wake from. Is that what troubles you? 
losing yourself. If you ever stray from your path, we will guide you back. Checked out those caverns? We did. So was I right or was I right? You don't know the half of it. But yeah, you should steer clear. And I intend to. <laughs> Ever get frustrated using that new one? Are you kidding? I love this thing. I can chop vegetables twice as fast, and I can't burn myself. Plus, it's great for self-defense. <laughs> You've been getting into fights? No, no, but, you know, I could. If someone tried anything, you know, I'm ready. Ah, uh, what do you know? All right, finish this thing, will ya? I'm going, I'm going. Hey, Cal, good to see you. Cal! Glad you're here. There's talk of a giant piazza nesting in an animal graveyard on the far side of the valley. Figured you want to check it out. You figured right. Look at you. Are you sounding like a local? Oh, before I forget, I heard there were a pair of newcomers over by the stone spires. I want to look for them. I already found them. They're going to start a hollow tactics table at Pyloons. Now we're talking. Piazza that size? Well, just don't take it lightly. I won't. Thanks, Mosey. Lighter BD. Word is that Ravis got bumped off. Word travels fast. Sure, when there's credits to be made. Send the raiders running, and we're in business. That's right. We get back into the gorge, kickstart those dams. Maybe we finally make some real scratch. Those dams are in rough shape. Think you're up to it? I know them like the hairs on my back. 
What Grok here means is we can make him sing again. Yeah, trust us. Keep up the good work, kid. Say we short the central conduit, slice it through the emergency couplings. Might be enough to get the sluice gates going. Huh. Might actually work. Heads up, killer. Sork Tolmos just doubled your bounty in one of the brood's top killers has come to collect. The name's Helioso, but the guild knows him as The Closer. He's brought a small army to Jeddah looking for you. Small army, huh? We're ready. That's what I like to hear. Take down a heavy hitter like Kilioso and you'll be making a statement. Best selection in the system? Guaranteed. Later. Monk, I can really use a drink. Ah, it is you. A word of caution. Here we go, BD. One sun sets, another rises. Hotter, brighter. Blinding. Blinding? As you said. When a sun sets, the lot wolves will always howl for its return. And who are these wolves in this vision of yours? Who, oh, indeed. He who walks with wolves is taught to howl. How'd you get mixed up with the Bedlam Raiders? Well, well, I had a drink from Muck. Then another, then another, then another, then... Right. I stumbled outside and sort of confused one of the big raiders with a do-back. Don't tell me you try to mount him. Okay. But if I don't, that's the end of the story. I can see where the raiders try to kill you. Oh, they've got plenty of reasons. I'm really busy, Cal. Maybe later. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. Everyone holding up, okay, Monk? Well, we're just fine now. The Raiders might have put a little spook in some of our clientele when they marched in here, but we're made of sterner stuff. Good to hear. You doing all right? Cal, my boy, I'll tell you the same thing I told those Raiders. What's that? Go ahead and shoot. But know this. You'll be blasting the best bartender on Kobo. You keep your eyes on the path ahead. It was good to see you. So Coruscant turned out to be a creative dead end, huh? Exactly. Life's too big to waste on something that isn't working out. You understand? Yeah, I gotcha. So you took off? Mm-hmm. Abandoned my label, my penthouse, the promise of fame, all of it. Where'd you go? Left my agents a note and hopped on the next transport to Kuat. An industrial world. Just like your home world, right? Yep. New and familiar, all at the same time. Hey there. Hey, Toa, you mentioned things were changing at the Academy before you left. It started when the Empire began dumping credits into our projects. Unlimited budget to fund our research. Great, right? But there were strings attached. Yes. We came under constant pressure from Imperial censors to conform to their propaganda. Anyone who did not play along was pushed out in favor of stooges whose work would never stand up under peer review. No moth or governor wants to publish views that question imperial dominance. I mean, I understand. The censors have their own careers to think of. It's okay, Toa. You don't have to defend a corrupt system. No, I guess not. We'll talk soon. So you've been out of the game completely since the Empire cracked down? More or less. Not that I didn't go down swinging. When the company went belly up, I insisted I could turn things around. But Dreo, my partner, he wanted to leave together. So what happened? Well, he left, all right. But in my infinite wisdom, I decided to stick it out. I had to turn the cards in my favor. I got greedy. I can't tell you how badly I wish I'd gone with him. Instead, I chose what you might call the scenic route to rock bottom. And that brings us to this rue riddled cantina years later. At least you got out eventually. Will you take some advice, Cal? Sure. It's not just about getting out. It's about getting out before you lose everything. Talk later, hmm? Oi! 
boy, Cap. Heard you gave Ravis the sack. You know, you weren't the first to take a swing at that Gendai. Ever hear about Toll? I don't think so. Oh, real poet with a pickaxe. A while back, she comes across this load of priorite, the biggest you ever saw, like a sky full of grinning stars. Of course, then your Ravis shows up, built like a bloody cargo barge, and tells her to get scarce. But Tor, the old nutter, she goes and takes her plasma torch to the Gendai. Of course, poor Tor don't last ten seconds. But I guess sometimes a find like that's worth fighting for, eh? Yeah, well, sometimes the payout isn't worth the price. Uh, maybe. But it's just like the prospectors say. Better a broken pick than a rusted one. Do wish you could have met old Toll. Bit loony, but with real heart. Sounds like it. Turns out our skills go pretty okay together, huh? <laughs> so modest this one. We, they're perfectly darling. On Coruscant, others would construct my designs. What fun it was to roll up my sleeves and get in there. So, what's next? Next? That's right. I'm not done with you yet, Zeke. Not by a long shot. Carl, tell me, have you ever been to Coruscant? Once or twice. When he says I've got to go, what's it like? A lot of ships, a lot of people. Like one, the other. <laughs> and I adore both. You've never lived until you've danced the night away on a pleasure bus circling the Uskru district. I'd make the trip just to see that. Not now, dear. Great to see you. You must make him fear you. Then he will speak truth. With Ravis dead, the Bedlam Raiders have been wounded. This makes them dangerous. They weren't exactly harmless before. No, they were not. I will look after the outpost. The Raiders may strike if they think we are vulnerable. I'll be back as soon as I can. I know you will, and I will be waiting. How may I serve? You seem to appreciate this. Don't you have a mountain to climb? See, got any advice on confronting Dagon? Well, in my day, I did watch him spar countless times. A ferocious warrior, that one. With a keen instinct for recognizing weakness. So, don't show any. If only it was that easy. I know. Why is it our enemies always seem to be the ones to exploit our failings? I'm busy, young Jedi. Stop your research. I lost my lab. Once the Empire occupied my planet, it seized my nursery, uprooting every flower, fern, and sapling. That's horrible. Worse, they repurposed my lab into a biochemical weapons facility. All my research now used as a means for death. I refused to cooperate. Escaped on an unlicensed shuttle, and here I am. Oh, you're safe here. I have been told that before. But when you say it, I believe it, Cal. Any family back home, Peely? They did not survive the Imperial occupation. I'm so sorry. I appreciate that. My parents and siblings were soft-spoken, but all of them were defiant. Like you. I suppose. Now all I have are my plants. They are defiant in their own way. Vines can rise in the harshest temperatures. Roots penetrate the thickest ferrocrete. That is how we will defeat the Empire. Time, time, time. Is there any plant you can't grow? Hmm. There was a rare subspecies of a Puglia blossom that I found quite stubborn. You still seem frustrated by it. No, of course not. Well, yes. It sticks with me, this one, I suppose. 
No matter what I did, where I planted it, how I treated the soil, it refused to grow. It was like it was acting out of spite, like a petulant child. Turns out, that subspecies of Puglia Blossom only grows in the wild. It only wanted to grow on its own. That's right. You have the mind of a true botanist. The plants need me. 